Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video and on today's video it's going to be a really fun one. We are going to be kind of going off of what we built in our last video and we're going to be making our first like sort of land bridge. Uh, there will be many of these in the future and I'm really excited to build stuff like this. Now I did see a lot of this stuff before kind of like on other like island tours and like Pinterest and stuff and I wanted to do my little take on it and see what I can create and again we are going to be doing some terraforming and a lot of water uh, I want to make a little channel going across like resin services and like having something in the middle here I don't really know what just yet but uh, I just want to put something maybe like ruined pillars or something like in the middle there to help cover it up some and I want there to be a channel running across here and then maybe off of our bridge. I don't really know. I just had an idea come to mind and I want to try it out and see how it goes. Uh, so I did my first like little channel right here to see if I would like how it looked. And I did remove just some of the trees around just so I didn't break up like any of the, I don't know, aesthetic or what I was going for. Uh, I don't know why I did, but honestly, I'll use them somewhere else. So it really wasn't that big of a deal. And I want our land bridge to kind of extend all the way to where I kind of left the channel like right there and build a little waterfall. So now we have like our little like river pond thing right here. I feel like this is really cool. And I, honestly, I'm kind of proud of myself on how much water stuff I have been doing because I really try my best to stay away from that. But so far, it's been working out. Uh, been some struggles here and there, but overall, not too bad. And for the pathing here, I use this really, really cool uh, dock, path dock path that I found. And I honestly think it is just the best when it comes to anything like bridge related. It looks really realistic and really it fits the aesthetic so well. So I decided to use this and I've honestly may have used this in the past. I do not know for sure. But regardless, it will be in the description below just in case you guys want to use it as well because honestly, it looks really, really good and I'm happy I did. And I didn't have all the paths, so I just kind of decided to make it little squares. And honestly, I feel like it worked out just fine. And here in the back, this is where we we need to start making it look more like a forest, especially if we're doing a bridge. I want there to be items just kind of around everywhere so you are just feel kind of caged on that bridge and I don't know uh, so I wanted to add a lot of different like palm trees I wanted to add bamboo and the normal trees to help fill in the area and now for the bridge itself I wanted to kind of go with bamboo partitions and vines uh, to help kind of cover it up and make it feel like you're caged in but something else really cool with the vines it allows you to explore around the area more so when you guys come over and tour the island you'll be able to do just that and I just feel like that's a really fun I don't know and cool idea I guess because I always want to see what people have made or built or if you didn't know how this was like built in a certain way you'll be able to go down and see uh, I just feel like it's really beneficial for everyone so I just kind of wanted to throw that in there and I really do need a time travel and get more palm trees because uh, as you see I'm using just coconuts and I really should have just planted them and time traveled but I was seriously just too lazy and just wanted to start building so that's what I end up doing and again just putting down a lot of bamboo and stuff because I do have an idea where I want to put kind of a dinosaur in between everything so we'll see how that goes and now for the spot over here I just decided to add a lot of pathing just in this little square to help kind of cover up just like the green I guess to make it look a little bit better and now we can actually start placing down some items I went with the ruined stuff why not I feel like it looks really cool and gives it that I don't know mysterious forest look like jungle that I'm going for and I don't know I just kind of went with it and over here like right like where the kind of the mouth is of like the little river we made I just decided to add all kinds of like little greenery stuff I even add this little bamboo lamp I thought it was like I don't know I thought it was cute I want to add a lot of stuff I don't really get to use uh, just to make it you know more fun for me uh, and over here on the side I just cage it off again with some more bamboo partitions 
and a lot of these vines the vines are so cool they even come up on the bridge just a little bit and i don't know i just feel like it gives it that extra thing that it needs i just think it looks really cool and again you can see right here where the vines kind of poke up at the top just a little bit it's really cute and i don't know uh, just those small details that i don't know really make a build to me i feel like i am a small detail person and i feel like it was perfect and honestly i haven't made a land bridge in a long time i think the last time i made one was in our very our very first island on palm bay and that one was really cool i made it to like a little like road going across i don't know i thought that was really cool and now that we're done temporarily placing stuff down we went ahead and spoke with tom nook and we can make our very first incline and i was contemplating on if i wanted to use the wood or like the natural ramp and i just went with the wood because i feel like it kind of fits with the you know path i'm using so i thought it would look the best so we went ahead and tried to place it down i soon realized that i wouldn't be able to place a tree there so that's going to be a problem we're going to deal with later i'm sure i will come up with something to kind of give that spot a little height uh, but unfortunately i didn't know that until it was too late but we'll we'll work it out some way all right and now over here we can start placing down the dinosaur now i had a lot of dinosaurs that I wanted to use uh i believe this is the bronchiosaurus or something like that i could be really wrong uh my <laughs> My pronunciation on dinosaurs is not that good, but I wanted it to give the impression like something was here, but I didn't want it to overtake the land bridge. So I wanted to make sure that you would just, it'll be right in camera view, but not like taking away from everything else. And it worked out perfectly. I ended up just placing down a lot of trees just kind of everywhere and triple checking myself to make sure I like the height. And luckily for me, I have a lot of bamboo trees over here so i just went over to the right and picked up some to help cover up the dinosaur just a little bit more there is like these little like black rod things coming out of the dinosaur so i wanted to kind of cover that up as much as i can to make it look like something is just there why not we can be a little creepy and add some like random stuff around uh, i feel like it will do just fine and then over here i finally did time travel and got a lot of the palm trees because i was desperately needing these uh, I, again, I was just being really lazy and over here on the side I did decide to kind of finish out this area I won't be planting anything over here just yet because honestly, I don't know what else I'm gonna put over here at the moment So I can at least kind of finish out the bridge because nothing will be Hindering it or anything. So I feel like that would be the best and I was really liking how I put the bamboo with the vines You guys let me know if you guys like that. I just thought it was pretty cool uh, I don't know if people do it or not. I really don't pay that much attention, uh, but I just feel like that was kind of a cool little thing to do, especially when you don't have too much around the land bridge. I just feel like it kind of, I don't know, covers it up just perfectly. And while I was over here, I went ahead and picked up some more normal trees to help fill in the area a lot more because I need to build like a little jungle-ish area over here. And also too, I know that I've said in the last video uh, leave comments below on what villagers you might want me to get. I'm gonna say it again. Please let me know uh, It's just gonna help me kind of make a list on who I want to get and also give me some ideas I think I know at least four villagers. I want to get at the moment But you all might have some off-the-wall ideas that I don't know of and that will really really help me out uh, So if y'all know of anyone, please let me know uh, I'm looking at a lot of the koalas. I feel like they'll look good and maybe June. I feel like June will be, I don't know, a cute little fit to the island. I was contemplating Chester at one point, but honestly, I I don't know. I don't think he would be that good of a fit, so I kind of didn't decide not to get him. Uh, but if you all have any other ones, uh, let me know. Uh, I'm going to be trying to make a tier list of who I want, so when I go villager hunting, uh, I can have a checklist so everyone knows who I'm going for. And I feel like it would be a kind of a cool way for everyone to get involved. And also, too, in the future, if I do live stream, uh, we'll have a tier list of what villagers we're looking for. And I don't know, it'll be really exciting to be able to find someone together 
and I don't know, kind of share that experience with everyone. And now that I'm done giving my little rant, uh, we are filling in all this area over here with a bunch of greenery, just so you don't really see anything over here. So every little like place I want to make sure I put down something, I kind of stagger it in different patterns so it's not like too repetitive, just enough to give you know the feel that it's overgrown and you really can't walk over here, even though you probably could if you really wanted to. But again, it's just to give that impression. And probably on the back side, I'll just put down a lot of like lattice fence to kind of cage it off because I won't be doing any of the beaches or anything. Uh, I don't like doing the beaches unless I really have to. And over here is where I found out I could not plant, plant a tree. And I was so disheartened when I couldn't because I was like that. I don't know. I just feel like you should be able to, but you couldn't. So yeah, I had to rethink a lot of my things at this point I kind of stopped recording and thought about what I wanted to put over here and yeah so I ended up deciding placing down a root like one of those giant like beanstalk looking things I feel like it will look good enough and honestly why not uh, the forbidden altar looks really good there and I didn't want to change that so I ended up just picking up all like the greenery and stuff I just recently planted and putting down this giant vine and yeah I feel like it worked out pretty well and it gives that like green aesthetic that I'm going for and I want to leave the forbidden altar over here uh, because villagers do come over here and click on it and it's really cute so I wanted to keep it and to cage off this area a little bit more I added a bamboo lattice fence just so you couldn't just go all the way back here even though you can not a big deal but on the back side I just caged it all off with some more bamboo lattice fence and this honestly kind of wraps up the build so all we gotta do now is I did discover before I did my final walkthrough I needed to add some green leaf piles I feel like this is gonna make the build look so much better and make everything look overgrown and I wanted to add these along like the land bridge just to give it that extra pop because it is kind of just a lot of brown in one area so to kind of break that up I just added some leaf piles I feel like this was a nice little touch and yeah I feel like this wraps up the build perfectly so let's go ahead and do our final walkthrough And that wraps up today's video on our very first land bridge. I really hope you guys did enjoy today's video. And I really think we are making a lot of headway on our jungle core island. I feel like the aesthetic is looking really good. I love this dinosaur right here. I feel like that was a really, really cool touch. Again, thank you guys so much for all your support and nice comments. And yeah, if you guys have any recommendations on anything, villagers, whatever it may be, Leave a comment below, and as always, till next time.